That's why he has a cheesy wine sting. Yeah. That's it's a bit it cheesy. Well, but... Tom, I'm looking forward to this trip to paradise. You've promised all the viewers <laughs> in that uh, inter break there. Let's Tom, see where we can go. Book a return ticket. <laughs> <in that place>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Phoebe, you all set for this as well? Oh, absolutely. Cheese meet wine, wine meet cheese. Yes, Phoebe, very pleased to meet you again. Why do these two yeah. things always go together? Stephen, I don't know if they really do always go together. I was having a chat to Phoebe in the break about it. You know, there's a kind of assumption that cheese and wine are always a match made in heaven, but it's not really true. Cheese is salty, sometimes it's quite acidic, sometimes it's high in fat. These are all slightly problematic things, and there are famous cheese and wine pairings like Port and Stilton. Rockford and Sauterne. Rockford and Sauterne, which, which are brilliant. I don't know. But it's not that... Not easy. I need a good few glasses of wine to eat brie. That doesn't taste good unless I have a few sherrys. I won't lie. It's the only cheese I don't like. But Phoebe, what do you think? Cheese and wine go together? Well, I think I think Tom's absolutely right, and I think the creaminess you really need you really need white wine to cut through that that sticky fattiness a lot of the time. Um, but we've got a red here tonight, so we'll see we'll see what All we right, think. Well, the challenge has been we've asked you to choose wines and find a cheese to match, cheese and find a, a wine to match. Now you've gone first, Phoebe, haven't you? And you've chosen a Gouda. Yeah, that's right. To start us off, with. So tell us about is, this cheese. Well, this is a fantastic mature Dutch Gouda. Uh, two years maturation, so it's nice okay. and hard and oh, I'm sorry, nice worry, and hard <laughs> and nutty and sweet. Okay. Um, we salt crystals, we tyrosine crystals in there as well, um, and it's just gorgeous. All right, over to you, Mr. Canavan. What have yeah. you chosen to go with it? Well, listen, we did start with a red tonight, so a, a red tonight. So what I've gone with is a, oh, nine, a 2004 wine, something with a bit of age on it, because that'll soften the wine down a wee bit. This is the Muriel Rioja Reserva 2004. It's £9.99 in Majestic, but until the end of January, you can buy two bottles at £6.99 each. So a bit of a deal That's on a it That's a good too. deal, isn't it? Yeah. But, you know, if you have a sniff of this wine, you'll see it's got all that really, really kind of lovely black fruit... Mm. A bit of vanilla in there too, a bit mm. of chocolate even. What do we do? A bit of cheese, a bit of bit wine? A bit of cheese, a mm. bit of wine. And I've picked it because it's a really nutty cheese, I think, Phoebe. You know, it's, it's not creamy, it's quite mm. hard and it's mm. nutty. And I think those mature flavours are lovely oh, with that I like wine. that. Bad wine has never tasted so good. Mm. That's you good. What do you think, Phoebe? I think that's lovely. It powers behind the cheese, gives the cheese that, a chance to sing away at the end. Do you not think it, cheese yeah, comes no, at the we end? We couldn't have put it better ourselves. No, <laughs> no, no, no. no. Right, Phoebe, well, <laughs> Tom chose a bottle of wine for you and you to match a cheese to it. Yeah. Uh, tell us what cheese you've chosen. Well, this is Golden Cross. It's an English goat's milk cheese. I'm just going to cut into it there. You can see inside it's got this beautiful mm. charcoal ash in the middle. Mm, um, and that keeps the acidity down. OK. Tom, tell us a bit about the wine. Does this sound yeah. like the perfect choice to you? I think it's going to be really good, actually, because what I've chosen this time, it's the Taste the Difference Goose Valley. Thank you. South African Chenin Blanc, 2009. That's this me. one's £7.49 in Sainsbury's. And I think Phoebe's done that trick. It's a wine that's got loads of fruit, loads of freshness, lots of, lots of acidity too, and I think the cheese is going to be perfect with it. I can't mm. tell you how happy I am at this moment in time. Mm. I don't know if that's worthwhile giving it's you that information, but... Delighted. It's not the strongest goat's cheese in the world. It's oh. got that creaminess, and I think the wine really cuts through that. So it's, it's the acidity that works here. That's what makes the difference. I think that's it? really what makes the difference. I mean, the wine's got loads of fruit too. I mean, a lovely, lovely fruity wine. Yeah, that's nice. Body. But I think, along with the creaminess of the cheese, it really adds up to a lovely kind of big mouthful. Mm. Right, flavor. that's two out of two as far as we're concerned. What do you think, Phoebe? Absolutely wonderful. I think you get all that light fruitiness coming at the end of the cheese. Yeah. I just think it's. I think. Well matched. It's a good match. Yeah. I think you've done right. incredible well. Thank you. Lovely wine. Tom, quickly tell us about the last wine. OK, the last, last cheese I think Phoebe's going to tell us about, first of all. All right, this is, this is the best cheese I've tried all year, and I've tried a lot of cheese this year. Uh, this is the Nuns of Caen, or I'm going to say Nuns of Caen. Um, it's a washed-rind used milk cheese. Um, first taste is of uh, roast, cold roast lamb. You can hear the squelch on that. It's a French cheese from Normandy, isn't it? No, well, it's not. It's named after the nuns of Cannes. Ah, Cannes right, okay. in Normandy. Um, and Oof. they had, uh, it's actually from Gloucester. And okay. the nuns of Cannes really like double Gloucester, which is why this cheese is named it's after. It's named after them. Yeah. Mm, but it's strong. an English cheese. English cheese, the sister. That is a smelly cheese. <laughs> oh, yeah. This was a cheese that gave me a challenge. <laughs> this was the one. <laughs> challenge anyway, it would square up to anyone. <laughs> I mean, it's a really lovely cheese. Full of that creaminess, but a strong cheese. So what I've gone for 
it's a classic dry white that I hope is going to have the kind of the acidity again and that kind of steely concentration to power through it. I've gone for the Domaine Brocard Chablis Premier Cru, so quite a high-end wine, quite a posh wine. It's from France and it's £12.99 in the co-op. If you have a wee taste of the wine, it's got that lovely lemon and apple and steeliness, you know, really mm. concentrated fruit on the palate. And I think that that's what it needs to kind of stand up to this cheese. You know, it works. Oh, it, it does. Oh, my favourite's the gouda. I mean, maybe if you want to cut another bit, feel free. I <laughs> won't say no. What about you, Phoebe? What do you think of this match for the end here? I was really worried about this, but it's worked absolutely perfectly. It does work really well, doesn't it? Um, yeah. I mean, you could have gone with a red with this again. It's yeah. so strong, but yeah. I think the white really works well. And what a cheese. Tom, what about you and your cheeses? What kind of cheese are you? Do you like yourself? Well, I mean, like you and Michelle, I'm very partial to a bit of cheese, but I thought that gouda was delicious. Oh, another very thing we have in common, Another Tom. thing we have in common. <laughs> another thing. The this list is, is just racking up through the roof here. This has worked really well tonight. You two make quite a team, actually, don't you? The cheese and the wine, the wine and the cheese. Well, you know, it's, it, it might be... Is this a new double act? It could be a new double act, <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> I'm not jealous of Like you and that Andy Gemmel. <laughs> Me, Andy Gemmel is not my favourite. He's on a par with you, Tom. Don't you worry Tom, about it. Tom, what's next from you? Next week, listen, we're going to do... Uh, getting a little bit early with Christmas lunch. Three wines matched a kind of classic Christmas lunch and three really nice wines, I think. Lovely. Yeah. Phoebe, as always, it's a pleasure to have you. Yeah, and we love to meet you. Well done. Good job to both yeah, of you. Thank, thank you, you very much. See you soon. As usual, you can find...